An Ottawa County Commissioner believes that the board may have violated state law when it voted to select a new person to run the Department of Public Health this week. It came amid a flurry of changes by new commissioners supported by a conservative political action committee. News Ace Kyle Mitchell explains the concern and has a response from a legal expert. The commissioner is concerned the board didn't follow state law in its plan to remove the current health officer before it picked a new person for the role. In just a matter of minutes, the new Ottawa County Board of Commissioners voted Tuesday to appoint a new person to run the Department of Public Health. Nathaniel Kelly was selected for the position, which sparked controversy because of comments he made against social distancing, masking, and other COVID-19 policies. In my mind, it's pretty straightforward that we didn't have the power to do what we did. Commissioner Doug Zylstra voted against the motion and says the board may have broken a state law which states the board needs to show official misconduct or neglect and hold a hearing for removal. The county received an opinion from former state attorney general Mike Cox in 2021 regarding its authority concerning health officers which views the law that way. I just don't see how we would elevate to somebody a position which is already filled and which legally could not have been vacated. Zylstra says the decision the board made was also not transparent. None of those uh, actions were on the agenda starting at 8.30 when the meeting began. Those were all introduced as the meeting went on um, with a simple majority vote. Board rules were changed to allow that. Um, so obviously on process and the way we do things, that's not how we do things in Ottawa County. Would that person then be fired? Gerald Fisher, a professor emeritus with WMU Cooley Law School who specializes in municipal law, says the motion did not make explicitly clear if the current health officer would be terminated or serve in another capacity. He says a legal challenge could come down to if the board's intent was to remove through the motion. If they were going to stay on uh, in, in a capacity working in, that, in the same office, uh, then I think a legitimate question would arise of whether or not this would be a removal from office as contemplated in that, uh, in that statutory section. In Holland, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.